the three biggest transitions we have discovered um, from interviewing 2,000 parents. Training schools, adolescents, and going through bullying. Now, what's really interesting for me is I interviewed 2,000 parents, and what we discovered is that there were three things that kept coming up when we, when we approached them for uh, developing their child's character. And I go into the character stuff a lot with the next workshop in two weeks. But these things kept coming up. Changing schools, which are, we're changing the community of a child. Adolescence, there's hormonal changes, social changes. And there's academic pressure at this exact time. Brilliant timing, well done. Bullying. Three biggest transitions. They're not singular events, they're transitions. It might take your child a year to change schools. Adolescence might take four or five years. Bullying can go on into adulthood. These two didn't go on into adulthood, this one does, which is why I focus so much on bullying. It's not just a change in their immediate community and their social position, but it's also a change in their emotional state, the way they perceive life, everything about that. Now, the most challenging thing I find here is that most bullying that I've found occurs between the age of nine and 15. And it's actually all of these transitions happening at the same time. Just at the time you're changing schools, they're becoming teenagers, all that extra pressure academically, socially, biologically, changing schools, community changes, and then they go through bullying as a result, as a result. Do you see what I mean? This is why developing a program, and if you look in your um, books, guys, if I just borrow that one really quickly, I always refer to this, so thank you. So um, this process that we develop here is designed to guide your child through the three biggest transitions. It's not about martial arts, it's about character development. We're trying to develop your child's character. This is an eight year journey. Most students stay with us for six years. Thank you, sir. So I didn't want to just create a martial arts club. As amazing as that is, I wanted to work with it within education and within what I feel is the most important aspect of a child's education, the development of their character. And in schools, academics are placed typically as the highest the highest value. Your child will determine, your, your school is determined on their success rate by, their, by your child's academics, right? So it's not a case of looking at their confidence, conduct, concentration, moral compass, all that sort of stuff which makes up their character. That doesn't determine if your child's education for the last 15 years has been successful, if they're a good person. What matters is their grades, you know? So when I choose, I always, I always talk about this, but when I choose a, a school in Dubai for Molly, and I've worked in you know, over 100 schools, I won't be choosing it based on academics. You know, if, if Molly's gonna get, get 20 A stars guaranteed, I don't care. I'll choose it on the school she's happiest in. That will develop her emotional intelligence. I really feel like the world is changing. We need leaders with amazing emotional intelligence. And I think the most successful people in the world will be people who have this ability to connect.